In terms of uh, Rangers just now, obviously, with uh, Morelos being um, out of the squad due to international duty, that opens up, although it's not quite your position, but in terms of up front, do you think with uh, yourself and Kmar Roof and Cedric Eaton that you're going to give the the boss plenty of options to, to deal with Morelos' loss? Yeah, exactly. I think it's uh, it's always sad without having uh, the full squad. You know, it's always nice when the full squad is there, we are all prepared for the game. But at the same time, I have to accept the situation and be ready for the game. So I think uh, we are ready for the game and uh, we are all capable of giving the boss uh, what he wants to give the results to the fans they want. I think uh, we are ready to fight uh, for the squad tomorrow. You've already got a goal this season against Livingston and that brilliant head Thank at you, the yeah. Tony Marcus Stadium. In terms of the game tomorrow night where it's likely they're going to play a low block, what are the key things that Rangers need to do to, to overcome that? I think we just have to keep on doing what we are doing. Uh, there is nothing to change much. I think uh, all the teams we have played in the past, they are always doing the same thing, playing uh, with the low block. I think uh, we have to do the same thing, like the way we have been training uh, with the wide wingers, continue dribbling and shooting. I think that's the only way to get goals. So we just keep on doing what we've been doing in the past. I think uh, we have uh, very good players, high quality players to, to get the results. And of course, Joe Aribo will return from the African Cup of Nations. He's back today, the manager was telling us. Yeah. How important is he to the, to the Rangers team? How big a boost is it to have Joe back? Yeah, he's, uh, he's one of the most important players for the squad, so uh, it would be very nice to have him back. It's sad that uh, they were knocked out, but at the same time it's, it's good news for us because we are happy to have him. Uh, he's always there for the squad, he's, he's a very good guy to have in the squad. He's always uh, bringing the positive energy in the squad, so we know that when we have him tomorrow, it will be uh, a very good thing for us to have him in the squad because we know what we, we expect from him. And just out of the positions up in front uh, in the front three, which are you more comfortable playing? Position? Yeah, honestly, I think uh, for me, I don't really have a special position. So I think uh, whatever position the boss has given me, I'm very comfortable with any position uh, playing as a striker or as a left winger or right winger. I think I'm okay with all these positions. I think sometimes it's more important to get the chances, you know, like if I can play as a winger, I'm okay with that, or as a, a, a striker. So I think I'm comfortable to play all positions. And when you scored against Stirling Albion, your celebrations, you were pointing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was special, you know, because I promised the fans that I will only cut my hair when I score in 2022. So it was a special goal and uh, a very good motivation to start the new year. So have you had a cut? Yeah, I'm looking fresh, I think you can see. <laughs> can I ask about uh, Roy Mackay? Um, of course, he was a great striker in his day. How much do you enjoy working with him and are you learning a lot from him? Yeah, it's always nice to have people like uh, Roy Mackay, you know, uh, with his experience, you know, I've been learning a lot and uh, he's always there for me, giving me in video trainings after the training shooting and uh, dribbling and stuff like that. So I'm having a very good time with him and uh, I'm very happy to have him in my career. It's, uh, it's a great honor to work with such kind of people and uh, I believe that I've learned a lot from him. Yeah, and finally, I mean, what's, it, what's the atmosphere like amongst it, the strikers there? Of course, Alfredo's heading off uh, with Colombia, but is, is it a good like, rivalry with the strikers, like likes of Kamar, Cedric and Alfredo when he's there and yourself? Do you all sort of push each other on? Yeah, I think, you know, we are always there to push each other in trainings and also when we have games, you know, the good thing about us is that even if we don't play, uh, it's either you're on the bench or you are starting, we are always there, you know, to motivate each other, encourage each other to keep on working extra hard. This is the very good thing I like about us as strikers. We don't really, like, do things as a competition, but we're all trying to work together and help the team. So it's very important. Uh, for us to deliver tomorrow, you know, it's always sad when some players are not part of the squad. We'll miss him for sure, he's a special player for us. But uh, we have to deliver, I mean, it's our time, we have to help the team and get the results tomorrow.